During the Manhattan Project, the people who eventually founded Argonne National Laboratory worked on the reactor part, so it was logical for them to uh, want to pursue a civil use of nuclear energy, which they saw even during the Manhattan Project as being a great opportunity to make the world a better place. It included electricity generation as well as many other applications of nuclear technology. Argonne has always been at the forefront of nuclear energy research since the first day of its existence. Nuclear power has provided about 20% of the electricity in the United States for the last several decades. Argonne's innovative research uh, paves the way for Westinghouse to commercialize the PWRs. The commercialization of BWR by General Electric uh, also largely rely on the reactor concept development and a series of reactor experiments performed at Argonne. So the electricity market that we have today is very different from the one uh, that existed 30, 40 years ago when the current nuclear fleet was built. The current fleet is based on technology that was first developed back in the 60s and was commercialized in the 70s. We have strengths that are applicable to any of the designs that are currently under consideration, including molten salt reactors, small modular reactors, gas-cooled reactors, advanced light water reactors. Some new startups are proposing small nuclear reactors or even very small nuclear reactors. Which essentially are reactors that don't produce as much power as large-scale plants. So rather than having a large grid to support, say, Chicago, you have a bunch of small grids that support each of the individual suburbs. They can be built in uh, factories and transported to different locations. We are engaging in public-private partnerships to allow those companies to have access to our expertise, experts in the facility, so we can help them to accelerate development of those technologies. I think one of the biggest things we're trying to do here and that I think is necessary to be successful is making sure we have the connections to work with um, other labs and with industry and with universities. I think we do a lot of awesome kind of cutting edge research here at Argonne, but we know that, you know, to best be successful with that, we really need to bring it together with research that other labs are doing. When people hear nuclear energy or nuclear technology, they immediately think of nuclear reactors. There's actually so much more than that. Nuclear technology actually extends into uh, medicine, industry. Security, uh, medical, nuclear medicine, uh, cancer treatments, heart diseases, and even industrial source applications. So we can split the atom to create massive amounts of energy, but we can also split the atom to create uh, a new isotope uh, for radio pharmaceutical purposes. We can use these medical isotopes after someone has a heart attack to find out where the blockage is to understand the blood flow patterns inside of the body without actually having to cut somebody open. Argonne is pursuing technologies related to the production and purification of novel medical radioisotopes that have both diagnostic and therapeutic capabilities. So from uh, cancer treatment to space exploration, commercial nuclear power, Alzheimer's, heart disease, nuclear technologies really play a major role across the board. We've actually designed, built, and operated reactors using technologies that many would consider to be advanced today. And much of this very valuable knowledge uh, rests with the senior staff. Argonne is transitioning a lot of legacy right now. A legacy of superlative work in designing reactors, reactor systems, and, and all the ancillary technology that goes around, the good science that goes into doing that and in order to ensure continuity of uh, knowledge transfer, we have been digitalizing our records, our technical documents related to these uh, reactors and experiments in order to pass them along to people in my generation who've, for the most part, done their work in reactor design using computer simulations. The important point is to have a senior scientist to work directly with the new generation, the young researcher, to be able to pass their knowledge to them and in the meantime also develop new idea, new research direction uh, for the future reactor technology development. Our younger staff is being very proactive. So it's not only a top-down approach, it's also bottom-up. It's very encouraging to see a lot of uh, very talented 
uh, young people come into our, our business, especially in the R&D side, and our young people are really, really good too. So we're, we're excited and I'm, I'm very happy to be working with them. They are very passionate about the research we're doing, especially uh, looking at the new materials and using new techniques to look at the material in a fundamentally different way. What Argon is handing the next generation of nuclear scientists is the opportunity to develop new ideas into safe, efficient, and potentially even profitable technologies that address today's and tomorrow's challenges.